Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So today I have a mixed haul for you. All right, it's just a mixed haul. Uh, it's gonna be Five Below and Timu. So I went to Five Below looking for the Blondie shirt that I've been on the hunt for. They did not have it. I asked the guy who was stocking the shelves and he's like, do you remember when we had like no shirts at all? And I was like, yeah, when you had like two shirts in the whole section. And he said somebody was stealing from them. He didn't elaborate on, on what that was. I saw a news thing somewhere where it says that if someone steals less than a thousand dollars, you're not supposed to stop them. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Don't anyone go stealing anything. But he said they just restocked. And they were pretty full. But I said, the picture you have up there of Blondie, does that shirt even exist? Because I've been looking for it and I don't find it anywhere. And he said, yes, he has seen it at other Five Below locations. I didn't ask him which ones because I go to the two that are closest to me. They don't have it online. And so I'm just going to keep looking. Anyway, I did find some Five Below stuff. Okay. Who's ready? I should paint my nails this again in September. Who's ready for the Beetlejuice movie? Who is ready? So this is a cute little mini Beetlejuice. And he is a um, pocket pop keychain. And I wish they had him full size. I didn't see him there full size. So I had got this little pocket beetle juice. Then I got three shirts. I guess I'll show you from, I don't know. This is my least favorite, but I figure I have a lot no, not a lot, but I have some pink pants, pink sweatpants. This is just an extra large. It might be good for Valentine's Day. It says, not your angel, and it has a little Cupid on it. That's cute. Yeah, it, it'll look cute with pink sweatpants. And I have pink sneakers. So there's that one. I am going to be donating a lot of stuff to the church. I already donated a bunch of stuff to one church and there's another church that is having a huge rummage sale and they are collecting for three days, three days. They are taking stuff. So I am going to over this weekend, pack up as much stuff as I can and get it over to the church and cram it into those three days. So hopefully that will work now this. Okay. This I got for Halloween. I've never watched this show. I didn't know who this character was. He's super, super, super. He's super evil looking. I figured I'd wear it for Halloween. I just had to get it. Something about it is so disturbing. So it's Huggy Wuggy. That's terrifying. Come on. That is terrifying. Huggy Wuggy. And then it says it's time to play. That is scary. They have like, I read where he's a regular character and then he's also evil. So like there's a regular one where he doesn't have the teeth and his mouth is like normal smiling. And then there's this one. So I'm guessing this is the evil one. Yeah, this one looks extra. I mean, they're all extra large, but this one looks extra, extra large. Uh, I don't know why. And then there's my favorite. I used to... And I don't know where it is. I'll probably find it. I probably decluttered it. And then now I'm looking for it. Um, I had a um, Super Mario Brothers shirt in like a pale blue that I got from Marshalls a long time ago. And um, I never wore it. So I think I decluttered it. But I may still have it. I have to see. So anyway... I found this one, which is not as nice because the design is kind of faded. So I got a Super Mario. It doesn't say brothers on it. just says Super Mario. Uh, 
and it's licensed Nintendo. Look, it has a little mushroom. So it's Super Mario. And why did I decide to get Super Mario? Okay, well, look at how, look how happy the mushroom is. Look, so happy. Is Yoshi on there? Yoshi's on there. Princess Peach. The, what's this guy's name? Gooba? Gooba? Prince? I don't know. Um, so why did I get the Super uh, Mario Brothers shirt? This I did not get from Five Below, but I want to talk to you guys about this briefly. And I'm not a gamer. So I know people who are gamers, mostly guys, that are gamers that have been like past people past boyfriends, dates, whatever, that were so into video games, Xbox, and all this other stuff with shooting games and whatever. And I'm like, I am not into video games. If I'm going to play a video game, it's going to be the one from my childhood. So I'm thinking, you know, we're, we're going back to the 80s. We are. So I really wanted to be able to, when I was growing up, all I played was, of video games, was Super Mario Brothers, the first one, the second one sucks. We all know it. Super Mario Brothers 3. And then on occasion, which I didn't own it, but I used to rent it from Blockbuster, was Kirby. Kirby's Adventure. I wanted to start playing Mario Brothers again. But I was like, they don't make Mario Brothers anymore. They make like this super 3D spectacular Mario Brothers. But I want to play Mario Brothers from... 1985 so I got this game system so what NES did to my understanding is like for around the 35th anniversary or whatever Nintendo put out this NES classic edition so this is a small miniature it's like like this big miniature replica of the Nintendo game system and it comes with actually Nintendo entertainment system. It comes with one controller and it comes pre-installed with 30 games. Super easy to hook up. It's literally an HDMI cord from the back to the back of your TV and you can plug it in either to, I plugged it into my DVD player or my cable box with the USB cord or you can plug it into the wall. Very easy to set up. There's no cartridges, this does not open. You just you know, set it to your TV, whatever channel it is. Mine is HDM3, it's the third one. And it the screen comes up and you can select one of these 30 games. And it does have the three that I wanted, which was Mario Brothers 1, it has two, three, and Kirby's Adventure. It also has games that I'm not a fan of like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, um, Dr. Mario, which I don't even know how to play that. You know, the Legend of Zelda. I tried putting that on the other day. I was completely confused. This is a little on the pricey side. I hesitated to get it, but I really wanted to feel like a kid again. And they had this on, there was a guy selling a, a actual full-size NES system from 1985 on eBay for the same price as one of these. And I was talking to my boyfriend about it and he was like, because I said to him, my concern is this, either I can get the miniaturized new copy of the old game, gaming system, or I could buy the gaming system from 1985 and have it be with and it, he was selling it with the three mario brothers cartridges one two and three but then i was saying to myself he said it was in good condition he had it in his attic in a storage box or whatever and i was like do i really want uh you know nintendo from some guy's attic and how long is the system gonna last it's like 40 something years old and you know it's there's there's something to be said about getting like the authentic experience i get but i get you know i i get that but 40 year old 50 or whatever it is year old um no it's gonna be like 40 something year old technology it's gonna break down or whatever so i just got the 
the the new dupe of that then so i don't um i wasn't gonna get this and then i because i thought it was too expensive and i got it on amazon there are imposters out there that you can get for like 30 bucks that I watch reviews and everybody said if you're going to buy this sp spend the money and get the the Nintendo version don't get the boot like version see like you that's how small the thing is and then because my my boyfriend recently bought an Xbox right so I said to him how much did you pay for your Xbox and then he told me and this was way 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 less so I didn't feel as guilty and I I've, I've been playing Mario Brothers and Kirby and it just takes me back to my childhood and it's so much fun and so I you know recommend it to you guys who just want to really just it's it's like time travel it really is sitting on the floor because I don't have a gaming chair yet um sitting on the floor in my living room playing Mario Brothers and I'm really rusty at it. It's just so much fun. It's so much fun. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So do I have anything else in here? No, nothing else from Five Below. So let's look at the Timu stuff. Okay, so this. Wow, the design is a lot bigger than it looks in the uh, on the uh, on the channel on the um, website. I happen to be scrolling, night scrolling, and I found this shirt of a singer. Oh, and this is actually printed onto the shirt. It's not one of those fake, like plasticky iron-on designs, and it is Bjork. This is such a cute Bjork shirt. She's wearing a shirt that says Poet. Doesn't look like she has any arms in this picture. But yes, I don't have a single shirt with Bjork on it. And I thought this was super cute. And I'm glad I got it because, like I said, the design is way bigger than I thought. And it's actually printed onto the shirt. Oh, I'm like rubbing her boobs. It's actually printed onto the shirt. So if you're a Bjork fan... Uh, this is super cool. And this is a, what's this, what size is this? I think this is extra large, extra large. All right. Now let's see. I reordered that shirt that they sent me the wrong one last time. Let me see if I got that one in the mail. No, this is so cute. This is a Jaws shirt, but it's Andy Warhol style, where it's like the same design repeated. Like if you ever seen, if you have ever seen Andy Warhol's multiple Marilyn, it's like that. This has the, uh, the like the cheap iron on, but I love the Andy Warhol design. This feels like it's going to be real small. This is the same company that made the Bjork shirt. What they send me? What size did they send me? I think they cut off the size on purpose. Because I know I always order an extra large. And this does not feel like an extra large. This feels like a large. So. I think that's super cute. I love the colors. Yeah. That feels like a large. And I, I don't like the fact that they, they clipped off the, the size. They're like, well, they'll never know. How are they going to know, right? That's what they think of their customers. What is this? Oh, this is not the reorder. Okay. And they have to be kidding with this. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is disappointment land all right so this has the cheap iron on the design i don't know if i'm gonna just wear this in the house 
It's one of my favorite lines from Bob's Burgers. It says, I love you, but you're all terrible. So, yeah, there's that. That's made by the same company. And look here, what did they do? They left, they left the size on there. This is an extra large. They didn't leave the size on the Jaws shirt because I'm telling you, they sent me the wrong size. I know it. And this one, it said it was going to be a rhinestone, like bedazzled Jaws shirt. And it's not. It's all a flat design, which they are going to be getting a bad review from me. That is terrible. That is horrible. It's supposed to be rhinestoned, and it's not. It is so not. That's just that's just awful. Yeah, I'm going to have a bone to pick with them. Okay, so there's that. Then... I have one more Timu bag, and those are outside vendors that are on Timu. Let's see what's on, what's in here. This is a pretty big bag, so let's see what we got. Okay. Okay, so I got this backpack because Twisted Gypsy recommended it. Well, she didn't recommend it so much as she said she got a lot of inquiries about her bag. And she said the stones were starting to fall off. Yeah, I could see that happening. So I don't understand. I should have got the one that just had the V on it, but I didn't see that until after. So this is like a baseball hat with a V. And I have no idea what that means. I don't know what designer is trying to dupe. It's supposed to be, it's a nice feeling soft, vinyl-y leather, faux leather. So I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I would have preferred the one with just the V but I didn't see that till later. So we'll see, we'll see. It has little things on the side. Let me see if it has like the, yes, it does. It has a very good sizable strap. I don't know what that says. What does that say? And it has plenty of room in here and it has pockets, zipper pockets, and it has the regular, you know, regular pockets okay so there's that oh and it's got pockets on the side two pockets on the side which i love for putting like you know your drink or your umbrella or something in there so that's cool this one is cute This is also that cheap iron-on design. This is Tokyo, Japan, and it has uh, a crane and a wave, and I don't know what that says. Anybody want to translate? Yeah, and that this is a 1X. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so I got this bag. I see this company on there a lot they have a lot of different comp a lot of different bags by this company i thought that i, I want to see if my boyfriend gives me a hard time about this not a hard time but like if he teases me about this because the okay so the brand is called miss zapatos miss zapatos and all the bags are the just the bottom half of a person showing off their shoes because in spanish zapatos are shoes is shoes so it's just miss zapatos so since my boyfriend is dominican i think and he does speak spanish fluently um 
I think that he would be making fun of me. But why are you wearing, why do you have a bag that's by a company called Miss Zapatos? So it has this zipper in the front. And then it has another zipper. They have a bag where the the straps are actually the continuation of the legs. So, and it doesn't have any kind of weird fish smell. And it says Miss Zapatos on the zippers. See? You can't see, but it does. And then, oh, look, it's a crossbody. Also, can be a crossbody bag. And the... They zip tied it. So, and it has a pocket in there. So yeah, all, all around, I would say a good find. I didn't want to go crazy and get all kinds of, you know, bags by this brand, um, just in case it, they turned out to be really bad. This is a skirt. I like the skirts with the wide bands because I feel they're made better. This is very long. I like this patchwork design. The skirt seems super long. I mean, I'm a pretty tall person for a, you know, for a woman, but this seems like it might need to be hemmed or I might need to I might need to roll the uh the top cuz this seems like it's it's pretty damn long. So, there's that. Now, this one this bag I wanted to get in the dark denim and they were sold out. So I got the light, the light denim and now they have the dark denim back again. This is just a little bag. It's this Paris. It's so cute. This is really small. It has the hook for, yeah, it has the hooks for the cross body. And it has a little pouch here and a little pouch here. That I don't know what you could fit in there. And it has, this is also zip tied. Let's see, does it smell? Nope, no smell. So that's good if you're just going out, you know, for a casual lunch and you don't want to take your big Jigunda Mary Poppins bag with you like I have. This is really cute. I still think I would like it in the dark denim rather than this color. What do you guys think? I don't know how long this is going to stay on. See these? We'll see. Oh, okay. I had been wanting to get a shirt like this. This is going to be an inside shirt, um, like to wear around the house. And I really like this one. I got it in an um, like an extra large, large uh, size, you know, like purposely too big. Although looking at it, it doesn't look like it's too big. But I meant to get this for to wear as a pajama. So it, it has a bunch of bows on it. And it says, God says I am. And then it has all the things and they're from the Bible. So it says, God says I am strong, accepted, bold, redeemed, protected, courageous, kind, capable, and loyal. So I have been looking for one like this because a lot of them say God says you are, which I'm sure you are. But I wanted the ones to say God says I am because I'm the one wearing the shirt. I don't know if you are. I, I, I hope you are, but I, <laughs> I'm sure you are. But I wanted the one that says that I am. So I finally found one that says God says I am. So and that's it. Yeah. So you guys tell me what you think. Tell me uh, what's your favorite item from each of these hauls. Let me know if you if you're going to try or if you are interested in trying the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. So much fun. So, so much fun. And I think worth the money just to feel like a kid again. So. What was your favorite game? And uh, yeah, so let me know. Comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. 
Have a blessed morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in a future video. Um, also, if you want to see any of these outfits, uh, me wearing them, it's on my Instagram, at Shopping and Sense. Uh, yeah, so until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.